Welcome to Open House NYC. Today I'm coming to you from a beautifully renovated five-story townhouse on a tree-lined block on the Upper West Side. This home magnificently combines restored original detail with modern technology. Notable features include a home movie theater, multiple wood-burning fireplaces, and spacious rooms offering plenty of natural light. This classic New York home is all about timeless charm. Today we are redefining what retro means when it comes to design, decor, and architecture. We are looking at everything from newly renovated mansions to French-inspired decor. And we're starting with interior designer Keith Baltimore and his take on Art Deco design that became popular as a symbol of optimism and hope following the devastation of World War I. Keith wanted the home to recall the glamorous ocean liners of that time, and the home is filled with decadent yet delicate shapes and colors, textures and materials of that bygone era. Hi, I'm Keith Baltimore of the Baltimore Design Group here in New York City. Welcome to the spacious and sunny Murray Hill apartment on the 18th floor of a high rise that I've transformed into a striking Art Deco residence, emanating with warmth and glamour. I wanted this home to evoke the era of those elegant ocean liners of the 1920s, an era defined by creativity and hope. All the spaces are integrated with a black and white theme punctuated by periwinkle blue walls and rich exotic woods. This provides the backdrop for elegant furnishings, lighting, luxurious materials, and Art Deco accessories and art. The result is a home inspired by the past but grounded in the present. Perfect for today's New York City living. Like all good entries, this space sets the tone for the rest of the home. I chose this stunning mirror, accented by cobalt blue glass, followed by this graceful sculpture. I kept the Art Deco vibe going with the overhead fixture, but contrasted it with the classical motif on the mosaic marble floors. But one of my favorite details on the whole home is introduced right here. I'm talking about the doors. Yes, the doors. All the doors in the home have a nautical theme with clean deco lines and circles. Some of them even have portholes. Ideally, I truly believe every home should have a bar, and I wanted this bar to feel like you've stepped into the 1920s Côte d'Azur, where wealthy Americans would travel for unrestricted hedonism. Because why not? Everybody could use a vacation, and there's nothing wrong with a little bit of hedonism, even in design. A back mirror expands the space and light. I placed three black deco-inspired stools against the mahogany base with diamond engravings which further recall the period. But it's here that you could see the beginning of a design flare I installed. A striped cabana style awning which runs the entire length of the space and leads you right to the living room. In the living room, I wanted to evoke a vacation and a celebration all at the same time. It's anchored by this long oversized crimson leather sectional, which contrasts beautifully with the wall color. The blue glow under the awning reminds me of the moments just after the sun has set when the sky is not yet completely dark. The kitchen is a marked contrast from the rest of the home. If the entertaining spaces were the ballrooms and staterooms of the ship, this might be the hull. But that's not to say it doesn't have Art Deco glam. I love the rich, lacquered Madrona wood that sweeps around the walls, hiding appliances, storage space, masking the cabinetry, and even a secret bathroom. In New York, as on a ship, not one inch could be wasted. It's always a designer's dream to be allowed to do something completely different. And we could all agree that this is different. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at my homage to the glamorous and opulent Art Deco era here in beautiful Murray Hill, New York. <laughs>